I don't like this because I can't tell if we're recording or not when we do it. This <laughs> He's way. telling us when we're recording. He's letting us know. Not be. But he might uh, just be. He might us. true. He might be fucking with us. God has a long history of fucking. Do you want with me us. to? Do you want me to screen cap my fucking computer where? I, I, you know I, me. I'm fucking a paranoid <laughs> fucking stoner who can never trust anyone because of horrific child abuse. Yeah, I know. I'm there with you. Give me a second. Uh, by the way, explain for anyone listening to what I'm putting up right now. What's been happening? The robot's being a bitch, so we're, we're doing this with OBS now. That's right. pretty much it. Yep. And there's no good answers on why Craig is being a cunt. I don't really have anything to say besides, uh... Yikes. Uh, no, um... Interesting, I guess. So... Yo, my man... What do you think of people who date more than uh, one person in their life? Is that a question for us? Yeah, is that, is that an open question? How do you feel? How do you feel about? How do you feel about people that date around a lot in their years? I mean, uh, obviously, it's cool. Like, why? Like, I mean, not to say that it's cool in the sense of like, if you don't do this, then you're a fucking stupid person. But like, damn. What's the problem with it? Is my question. Well, let me ask you. Why, why would anyone? Why would anyone think that's a bad thing? Let me let me ask you in response question. Um, if you were when like if you dated somebody, how would you uh, describe the people that you've dated to others? Like if you wanted to talk about them, how would you talk about them? Uh, well, I mean, I've talked to you guys about people that I've dated. Uh, not a lot of them have been very good experiences. <laughs> and I've talked about, like, all the fucking but like, slack fucking bottom feeders I fucking have Like, would you, would you, um, like, let's say that you, let's say you decided to make a website where, uh, you were going to talk about all the people that you've dated. How would you, how would you talk about those people? Uh, uh, probably somewhat negatively. Would um, you, considering that I had negative experiences with them? Would you? In all honesty, I should like not. This is why I've stopped calling myself a monster hunter, and I've started referring to myself as a bottom feeder because I really shouldn't dehumanize the fucking people who are willing to let me come inside of them without a con. What if? Uh, what if hit now now here's a better here's a better question would you um would you want to talk about how smart they are would i talk about their iq well maybe not iq but maybe would you like to talk about their sat scores i i, I mean i i don't boys, generally ask boys that. boys allow me to introduce you to a little website called deathdrone.com from the web archive on a section called Girls I've Fucked. So, <laughs> what we have here uh, is probably the early signs of a serial killer. Um, this is a guy who uploaded all of the women he has had sex with. He could just be a Death Grips fan, he, but had sex with women, so girls, Death Grips fan is out the window, am I right? Yeah. Girls that he's, he's fucked. He's yeah. as a Death, Death, Grips Grips fan. Fan. Death Grips fans are the types of people who would make like a fucking tear chart for silverware. So and then like fight to the death about it. <laughs> so these are these are girls that I've fucked. He's also he also has girls I've tried to fuck. And he also has other people, which lists himself. Let me go ahead and show you our beautiful man. Uh, here. What girls I've tried to fuck pick are all the pictures related to those just like <laughs> fucking 80 miles away in a bush just watching her go into her own apartment. Um, no, it seems like most of them are pictures he took off <laughs> of their Facebook accounts. Adam Freeland got raped by the fucking nostalgia credit. Yeah, that's our boy. That's our boy, my man Thomas, who has an SAT score of 1,420 to 1,460. So he's he's autistic, man. Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, are, are, okay. So uh, SAT scores have like changed back and forth in my lifetime. When my brother and sister took them, they, like fourteen hundred was as high as you can get. When I took him, it was like twenty four hundred. What is it now? 
Uh, well, you also have to consider what time this was in, which is 2011. So, like, hold on. SAT score highest 2011. A perfect score would be 2,400. Uh, okay, yeah. The so national, so it, was, it was when I took mine. All right. National average is 1,500. So these girls are, like, between below average and, like, average for the most part. Oh, this guy is like a blood and soul type person now. Yeah. So uh, let's go over a couple of these uh, uh, beautiful, beautiful women like Antonia, the first woman on this list, where which he has categorized her with SAT score fourteen ten. Not too bad. Did I fuck her? Yes. Best girlfriend I've ever had. Dave for one point three years. I would cut off two of my own fingers to get her back, possibly three. Tried to have a threesome with her and Betsy, but I fucked it up. And, uh, oh, look, he also, he links a chat with her, where he's posted every single chat he ever had with this woman, dating all the way back to, uh, how far does this go back? 2008? I joke a lot here about what well, this person's serial killer. This is the first, as you were reading that, I was like, Oh God, this is how a fucking serial killer talks. Like we dated for 1.3 years. Now, from what I'm seeing here, it doesn't look like uh, he. It doesn't look like the Wayback Machine has all of the chats. Uh, I think a lot of them were lost to time, but just the fact that we have them here is just as archives that they didn't did exist is just one of my favorite things in the world. So. Um, Let's just go through a couple of these girls real quick. These these sexy ladies, these potential uh, partners, and as you can tell, there are a couple of them where he's in the picture with them, uh, such as our girl Emily. Let me go ahead and post her picture here for you guys. Emily SAT score fifteen seventy, a little bit higher up than other people. A little bit higher up. A little bit higher. Yeah, I like that. Uh, he says, "I took her virginity." We dated for about a semester in college. I fucked her best friend Josie and made out with a roommate. Wow, what a sweet man. And the bus- <laughs> this, this, this entire fucking site is just I fucked her, by the way. That's yeah. all. I fucked her, by the way. Also, yeah, dude. That girl looks like the teacher from Claret. Yeah. Also, real quickly, off topic, but the thing I posted is I saw it pop up in another server. That's what Jack or Lanterns used to be. A nice. Big amount of turnips. I love that. That is infinitely more terrifying than any pumpkin. Basically, <laughs> it looks I've like a been. mummified head. Uh, another it looks w- like fucking Slenderman's head. Another one of my favorites here is this one, Jess eight five four two thousand. It's a nice looking girl. I her and her mom and Not- her dad. Nice looking girl. She and says, brother. she He's says, only 15 now. <laughs> she says, uh, he says for her first, okay, Cupid girl I ever slept with. I think her retarded little sister walked in on us while we were fucking. <laughs> I mean, no, her sister was retarded. I <laughs> retarded little sister. <laughs> I might have, but Jesus fucking Christ. I'm just imagining him just like, hey, I'm, I'm pretty sure that her SAT score is going to be blue to 100, Mark. Every, every lady, lady I've coupled up with, like at least the third question is like, do you have any retards in the family? I need to know this. Because I like that word and I'm not going to change. <laughs> There's some things that you just will never get mad to stop doing. So I'm going to save. Don't, don't, Lundy, if you see the one that I'm thinking of, don't point that one out immediately. Uh, let's- when I die, I want to be put in like fireworks, right? But when they explode, it just spells out the word retarded. <laughs> we also have uh, this one here who is Jamie. And uh, he lists her as ghetto bitch who worked at a McDonald's I frequented. Uh, that's all she has. No SAT score for her? No. Uh, yeah, he kind of drops. He's not keeping up to date on those. He dropped that pretty quickly near the end. Um, to be fair, uh, she's working at a McDonald's. Like, how good fucking score. We also have. I mean, I mean, Matt, I've been working fucking fast food for a while, and mine was fucking 1930. Yeah, so. but Lundy, you decided to go into philosophy. 
as a man. <laughs> well, that should uh, that should also be an indicator, Matt. We also have this woman, uh, Johnny, who uh, or Joni. He spells it Johnny though. <laughs> Uh, took her virginity. I'm with the ancient Greeks on this one. He said, "Took her virginity in the grass at a party." Then I started crying for some reason. Because <laughs> <laughs> you realize you're just banged somebody who looks like fucking one of like the Samoan wrecking crew. Uh, no, she looks like Reggie, Reggie Philomenes. Fees of May. Yeah, fees of May. A lot of she these. Does. She looks like Reggie fees of May. Yeah. I swear to God, I thought Matt said Reggie Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> I forget that Reggie's black. So, uh. Our, like Reggie's so cool, but then it's. Oh no, he's Haitian. Our last girl here we'll have for the fucked section, Matt. I think you're going to enjoy this one. Uh, let me grab her real quick. I'll be completely honest. Like for the most part, the last one is one of the ones I would have sex with because I yeah. I would try to swing it like the other four, but I would like just immediately well, strike out. Let's the, these are the girl with the retarded. I would immediately just be like, yeah, you know it's fun like making fun of the retarded and punching children. Those are my two favorite things. <laughs> now these are all. These are all. No, 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 you're fine. I make somebody so fucking angry the other fucking day in D.GG because we were talking about what we would do if, like, the apocalypse happened. And I was like, I would fucking just punch the shit out of the fucking babies. Just start fucking, fucking their shit up. And somebody was like, that's not cool, bro. You ever punch a baby around me? You get fucking beat up. And it's like, <laughs> I'll tell you what, bro. I'll tell you what, bro. You ever punch a baby around me? <laughs> and I'm going to get me and three of my friends, and we're all going to come to you, and we're going to be like, that's not cool, bro. <laughs> me being me, of course, I fucking bajillion down on it. And I started talking about I'm just how I would, I would I use, like, a baby to hit another baby to death, or how I would, like, punch my hands through the fontanelles and have, like, baby punching gloves. <laughs> and just that way. That's kind of I was kind of imagining Matt just like in a nursery and he punches one baby and the dude's like pounding on the window. Not cool, bro! Not fucking then, cool, bro! Just, like really turns really to look at him and smiles and then just like, can you stop me before I punch all of them? And then he just starts going nuts. Slowly walk over to another baby, just look at him dead in the fucking eyes and just slowly raise him up and slowly Realistically just speaking, up and up. Realistically speaking, Matt, if you were in a fucking nursery and you just started punching all the babies, they're right next to each other. You'd probably be able to punch a, 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 probably all of them, honestly, before anybody stopped you. Because yeah. firstly, they'd have to get over the fact that there's just this giant fucking hulking homeless man just go punching babies <laughs> they'd be very confused about that but yeah like that guy got so fucking mad at me and it, I was like oh man this, this is the best <laughs> this is so fucking good uh, so like to get to get back real quick um we, back on topic we, we have our last girl for the girls that I fucked section which is my favorite. I don't know if Lundy saw if he's clicked on the link and seen the other girls here. Uh, my, click on the link. I like being surprised. You've seen you've seen all the pictures so far that he's had with them or ones he's taken. They seem like yeah, pretty yeah. pretty good pictures. Now let's look at the one he has for. The only one I would have a shot at is Reggie Filipino. <laughs> what's what's something that you notice about all these pictures of these women? Uh, he is in most of them, aside from this last one here. Well, I would say they're all looking directly at the camera. Um, that too. Let me show you the one for the last girl, Heather. <laughs> That's, uh... Oh, oh my god, I fucking called it. I uh, fucking called it. Heather, Heather's is a little bit... It's not too long, but it says, uh... I took her virginity... She accused me of raping her. I think she has the lowest IQ of any girl I've fucked. Fucking. <laughs> he also listed. He also 
linked her uh <laughs> picture dude oh my god it's like something out of a fucking horror movie Okay. She'd, be like, out, she'd be like reaching for the door handle and we'd hear like heavy breathing as the camera is like fucking staring at her fucking door just going <laughs> <laughs> and then she just exits the door and we see this picture and and just like it's just starts shaking violently before it just ducks behind a fucking bush as she looks over in its direction <laughs> oh yeah keep in mind keep in mind um he this is on like the public website that he would post that he would link their uh if he had them their facebook their okay cupid anything oh god Maybe i just wish shaming. jesus christ i just really wish i could go- oh my god oh thank See, you so i thought i was like awful for dude like, sex with all dude. these like, trashy women to just have fucking fun stories about it but like I'm Man, you find, sometimes you find like, oh, there's there's fucking creatures living oh. in the sand beneath the bottom feeders. I am so so let's all just take a moment and thank God right now. Let's just thank God real quick. Is, did he die before he could kill anybody? No, uh, but something something very that I'm very happy about happened. I'll talk about it in a second as soon as we get through because this guy. This guy might end up being a majority of what we covered tonight. <laughs> oh, oh, ominous. Yeah, so let's go to girls I've tried to fuck real quick. Let's just go over all the girls he... he <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure he's going to have some very nuanced neo-feminist takes here. Yeah, so this is Justina. Uh, he says, genius 20-year-old med student stripper, urban rock climber. Fell in love within an hour of meeting her. I frequently fan of size about hiring a private investigator to track her down in the middle, middle of her torso yeah i don't know if you i don't know if you guys heard that last part i frequently fantasize about hiring a private investigator to track her down jesus christ yeah oh no <laughs> this is how this section starts. yeah you ready you ready to go a little bit uh, you are ready to go a level deeper ah uh, go for it yeah, let's let's go to this level. Uh, this is Laura. At- okay, real quickly before you talk, <laughs> <laughs> we 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 need to fucking discuss this fucking picture. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. One, the fact that it's in black and white, I do not like that. It reminds me of an Ingmar Ingmar Bergman movie, mm-hmm. particularly the ones with rape. Also, why is she in the position of a Sasquatch? Yeah. <laughs> also, again, this this just screams like if you like you, Lundy, like focus and go. You, like I know you're younger than me. Yeah, Lundy, not so, not as much, but like, do you remember Unsolved Mysteries? Of course. This literally looks like. Every last. That's what I was gonna photo. say. That's what I was gonna fucking say. It actually looks like a fucking picture of unsolved mysteries or some shit, or just or just any sort of like missing persons, like like fucking obituary or some shit, like anything that you would usually find a picture like this, and it's always bad. Yo, this is not a picture that you would put in like a fucking good like like Facebook. Yo, can picture. I just say? <laughs> At, a, at the end of a fairy tale book, where it's like, and she lived happily ever after. It's like, no, this is a picture that a detective keeps in a fucking crime file as he's like trying to work the case for twenty years. Just yeah, every, like, every, 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 every day at the end of his fucking shift, he looks to this picture and he's just like, "I'll find out what happened to you." Yo, I swear to God. Can I just say? <laughs> can I get you from vagina to nape? Can I just say real quick? Um. Uh, I, I really, there's a part of me that kind of wishes I'd save this for last in terms of like the thing to go over. Cause this is just, so, but like that, I can't say that this isn't gonna, this isn't going to get a lot worse really quickly. Good. Oh man. Is it going to be like, oh, I tried to fuck her, but she mysteriously disappeared. Well, no, you want it? You want to hear what it is for Laura? SAT score, 1520. Fell in love with her when she was 15 and have been obsessed Uh-oh. with her obsessed with her ever since. 
She accused me of raping her. I love how the ones that accuse her, they accuse him of raping them. They always have the fuck. They have the fucking yeah. creepiest goddamn pictures. Yeah. Hey, hey, Londa, you ready? You ready for it to get kicked up? Kicked up a little bit? Oh, uh, oh, oh god! Oh god! Oh, yeah. Let's go let's ahead and let's go ahead and jump. Let's just go ahead and talk about real quick all these false accusations these women are have. While we talk about uh, Bat Meg, who's this young lady, who Bat Meg, Bat Meg, Batman. Meg at the end. Yeah. Uh, who's, who he gave an SAT of 1420 and says, jerked off on her face while she was drunk. Well, I think we have our reasoning as to why all these girls. Oh, no. Let's go. Let's go a little bit. Them. Let's go a little bit further. Let's go a little bit further here. Uh, we have, uh, we have Louise. I don't know why it had her as spoiler for some reason whenever I posted that, but whatever. <laughs> well, that, yeah, that was ominous. <laughs> We have we have Louise who is listed as does I'm even not, I'm not joking. Go. I am not joking. When I saw that it posted as a spoiler, I got so fucking scared. <laughs> I did too for a split second. I was like, is this gonna be a corpse? We have, <laughs> we have Louise who is listed as she unconsciously wanted to be raped more than any girl I've ever met. Oh no. Now, oh now Why let's is one of the running themes on this show, right? What now let's do. He, uh, so, so uh, how, <laughs> I'm imagining him in the middle of an interview. What do you mean when you say that she unconsciously wants to be raped more than any girl you've ever met? Well, it's a good thing that you asked that question because I have been I have been asked this several times. I'd like to clarify how I've uh, come to this conclusion. I do have empirical evidence. Um, I uh, sometimes would go into her bedroom at night. Um, of course, I wasn't allowed in her house, mm-hmm, but of mm-hmm. course, she never, she never saw me. Yes. Um, and what I would do is I would uh, set up a tape recorder and I would watch her intently. And I Naturally. would find out that at least at several points during the night, uh, she would cry out for help. Um, but uh, at the same time, it looked like she pissed herself. But as we all know, piss is girl comes. So uh, it's very clear that trauma is something that turns her on very much so. <laughs> Now, now you might be wondering, what would happen if any of these women knew about this website? Um, they'd probably put them on blast. I'd say. Oh well, no, let's let's see what happens with uh, this young lady, uh, Aggie. I think is how you pronounce this. A G H I G H. Let's just call her Aggie. Uh, he said, "I blogged about how she sucked my dick." In response, she spit in my face and called the cops on me. <laughs> I don't know why she would do that to my homeboy. This 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 clear king. This amazingly beautiful man who has definitely done nothing wrong in his life. <laughs> definitely a good I, man. I just also realized what he kind of looks like. He kind of looks like a failed Sam Hyde clone. Yeah. He, uh, yeah. Or, hey. like, or like a better Sam Hyde clone, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> Oh God! Go! I just saw this. Hold on, it's Jesse. Jesse, <laughs> all the way at the bottom. Yeah, what? Which Jesse is this? All the way at the bottom. Other people. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking. Who is this? Who is this? SAT score sixteen hundred. I consider oh, him yeah. my best friend for years. Yeah, 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 yeah. He told me he didn't like me just before he killed himself. <laughs> yeah, that's based. That's base. <laughs> Jesse can fucking champ. Well, no. I was about to, you know, you you got me right before, right before we were going to introduce the other players in his life. Uh, I just had to with that one. That was just too fucking perfect. Jesse the fucking king over here just being like, you know what? I don't really like you. And the fact that I'm like associated with you in any way. I'm gonna go ahead and go like like put a shotgun in my mouth. Let's I just, think that sounds good. Let's just introduce the other two people, J Rix, J Rix and Ken. Uh J Rix's name his full name that uh Thomas refers to him as is J Rixican. Get Mexican. Uh, who he yes. he categorizes yes. categorizes as the closest I have to a friend, bravest person I know. And then we also have Ken. SAT score 1550, who says the second closest thing I have to a friend. He's my favorite person to talk to, but I think he's avoiding me. <laughs> it's nice to see. That, 
It's yeah. nice to see that as the SAT scores go up, it seems they want to go farther away from him, considering Jesse was 1,600 and fucking blew his brains up. <laughs> Now another thing, another thing you might notice with this uh, website that you're looking at, Lundy, and don't don't click over to it for the love of God, don't click over to it. But um, you may notice the nine page something awful thread about me section. I ha- I have noticed that I have, now I don't I know why that not would clicked on it as of yet. <laughs> I don't know why that would exist. Uh, hey, crazy idea, crazy idea. Let's click on the blog. Okay, we'll click on the blog then. Yeah, yeah just start scrolling down and see how far these go in terms of... Ooh, what's this? Video journal entry? What's this? Well, I just have to click this one. Anything? Damn it. Only the capture of it. I don't have the actual video. Ah. <sighs> So most of these don't really have any text next to them. Oh no! Keep scrolling down. Keep as to what they are. Keep scrolling down. Keep scrolling down. A few of them do have them. No. Yeah. 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 So the the first bunch do, and they have they have very interesting fucking. So, hey, here's an idea. Let's let's go through and we'll both grab like ten. We'll grab like ten that we really enjoy. And let's just. Uh, there's t- there's so many to pick from. I I'm. I'm partial towards a cup of a couple of I I really want to read me want sex at some point here. Uh, uh, uh near the top, okay Cupid fail, nearly underage birthday party, Foxwoods, J Rix gets high and laid, pretending to be gay, stacking off with stacking off with a drunk Am I beautiful? Yeah, I was about I to say here. I'm I'm at uh blushes. <laughs> Hold on, how many times is this say? Yeah, actually check that for me, because I also got I am attacked and savagely beaten by a horde of angry Negroes. Nah, it only says <laughs> twice. <laughs> nah, well, look up Negroes, see if that brings anything. Every one of these episodes. Yeah, let's go, uh, Negroes, let's go. Negroes only on there once. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, let's see what else is there. Ooh, this is a Tennessee boy. Hell yeah. Ooh, where can we go? Where can we go? Thomas expresses homophobia. Thomas screams... Doesn't have sex. Thomas has his last class. Thomas stalks an oriental and goes to the beach. Ooh, I want that one. I'll grab that one. Thomas inadvertently views homosexual personnel for p- pornography. An accident occurs. That one's good. Sounds good too. Grab, grab that one. Send it to me. Uh, um, or you can you can read that if you want. Shut the fuck up, Craig. We don't need you anymore. The Wayback Machine has not archived that URL. Damn. Holy shit, look in the bot room. Look Ooh. at that fucking mess. Look who came <laughs> crawling. If cro- I persistently fail to join, it may be an issue with the voice server. Try changing the server region and server reset. Okay, I basically, like... Ah, damn. I, uh, so, damn I definitely it. want to go through the OK Cupid fail, because I feel like that's going to be a fun one. I was going to say, a couple of these are not giving me journal entries. I do, thankfully, <laughs> yeah. Matt... I hope you're happy. The Oriental one is, in fact, there. It is there. So we have yes. that. Um, I'll try to grab a couple more if I can find. I do have. I want to read. Uh, I want to read one that has a section called "Pretending to Be Gay." Uh, that one's gonna be fun. Whoever the fuck owns Death Drone now, I hope you die because you got rid of all the pages. Ah, uh, damn. Ah. Uh... That is the problem with us. We have to go through. <laughs> this is just an interesting couple here. Louis Silla intro, followed by Louis Silla was raped by three guys. Hell yes. See, <laughs> is that one there? Yeah, that's near the top. No, I mean, like, is it available? Like, do, is it? Uh, give me a second. Uh, okay, Louis Silla was raped by three guys. That's here. Nice. Um, oh, it's a chat log. Based. Hey, you might get a little kick out of what I put in bot room for Craig. I saw that. I have, uh, uh, I have, I spit water at some anonymous person in the bathroom. <laughs> Let me see here. <laughs> I inadvertently make a joke. Strangers laugh. Oh, that one's dead. That one's dead. 
Um, okay, so we have we have I have a couple chat logs. I've here. got Lewis three. Silla and it's Lewis Silla and Lewis Silla's uh, been raped by three people. Okay, let um, me... so there that's the intro to Lewis Silla, and then this one is Lewis Silla was raped by three guys. What happened um, to Matt? I don't know. I went into the green room because I tried to get out of the pop room. <laughs> Where the normal text chat is. I'm trying to go through to see what all we have because all I have right now are three. I've got three that. Um... Uh... <clears throat> My first time in a brothel banned by OK Cupid for the third time. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. You don't know how angry I am whenever I click on these and I see Wayback Machine pop up instead of a link. All right, well, you guys do. I'm going to go take a piss. It's okay. I'm going to go ahead and pause OBS while I'm thinking of Okay, go. Journal 20110522. OK, Cupid fail. Nearly underage birthday party. Foxwoods. J Ricks gets high and gets laid. Pretending to be gay. Stacking off with a drunk. <laughs> MIT is beautiful. I live here. Goodbye. Nobody knows I'm an atheist. Um, <clears throat> so. Start off with OKCupid okay, fail. My OKCupid okay, profile was deleted and I was IP slash cookie banned from the site a couple of months ago. I assume it's because of Hakiki. <laughs> it got super pissed at me because I called her a bitch. <laughs> and she contacted all the girls that I fucked that I linked to on my profile and got them all to complain about me simultaneously. <laughs> so we do know what happens when people find out. I finally remade my profile a few days ago and started enthusiastically spamming bitches with messages again. <laughs> ah, the respecter of women of women has logged on, which is pretty much the only way I've gotten laid in the past seven years. <laughs> nice. I usually spam the message "Want to get in your ass" without spending my cheddar misspelling intentional. Uh, <laughs> J Rex thinks this is the manifestation of self defeating tendencies, but I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, I already wrote that this gloriously detailed profile for the girl to read to decide whether she likes me or not. So putting effort into the actual message seems superfluous. What I'm supposed what I'm supposed to pretend that I think she's interesting for something other than her vagina and or IQ. <laughs> <laughs> and write some customized message referencing the dumb shit she put in her profile. That's what all the other guys do. I don't. I want to be different. Um. Anyway, I think OK Cupid is onto me already. After a quick flurry of initial activity, no one has visited my profile in several days, despite my vigorous spamming. So I'm guessing some algorithm he has already flagged me as a spammer and is preventing my messages from arriving. Bummer. I mean, I'm not actually using a script or doing anything hacker shit like that. I don't actually consider myself to be a spammer or cheating the system or whatever. I'm manually navigating my browser to each bitch's profile, reading a couple of lines to verify that the girl is a boring cunt, and then manually sending my stock message, which is pretty much exactly what I've been doing for the past seven years with great success. But I guess I look enough like a robot that OK Cupid isn't going to take any chances with me anymore. So I'm just tried accessing the site a few minutes ago, and now I can't log on in at all. So yeah, I guess they're on to me. Two accounts deleted. Fuck. Yeah. So how the fuck am I supposed to get laid now? Fuck. 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 Nice. Nice. Ah, oh, what a fucking respecter of woman here. This is, I, I'm gonna look at your. You're all boring cunts. None of you are interesting aside from your vaginas and or your you IQ you level. Matt, go ahead. You fucked Star without me? Yeah. Lundy did. Listen. Lundy. Matt. Gay. <laughs> Matt, uh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll read the Oriental one next. Okay? All right. Okay. Oh, to be, on, to be fair, these are actually like multiple blogs in one link. Yeah, that's what drives me crazy right now. Uh, this one's actually really short. Nearly underage birthday party. Turns out the age of consent in New Jersey is 16. <laughs> Laying in my van at night, jerking out to pictures in my jail bait folder. Fucking hell. He's a good I man. Guess... <laughs> free, my, free my homie Thomas from internet jail. <laughs> I fantasize about not Is he in real jail yet? I hope he's in real jail. 
to try to fuck the 16 to 17 year old girls that I wrote about in my last journal entry. My man needs to be shot. <laughs> that J-Rix found while wandering randomly through backyards. He's been fucking killed. <laughs> what the fuck? He's just... <laughs> J-Rix is walking around through people's backyards scoping out the 16 year olds. This is going, oh, fuck that. I'm fuck that. I'm gonna fuck that. I'm gonna fuck that. <laughs> that like a man does. <laughs> At least it's not going on OK Cupid. I ain't so no fag. That was Jesse. Um, yeah, that was Jesse. Yeah, Jesse. I tried. I tried looking up Jesse, and it seemed like it stopped after like his last year of high school. It's just him saying stuff about like visiting Jesse again. I tried looking up suicide stuff. I couldn't get anything. So if it's Tyler, Here's something. Jesse wasn't a suicide. They killed him. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Lundy, when we get down to uh, the chat log, do you want to do you want to do a half and half with me doing one and you do the other? Because I just saw that they talk. Sure. Keep going. Um, this is gonna be I like feel, two hours. I feel stupid. I fuck my. I fucking quit my job, and moved into a van, in hopes of becoming an interesting adventurer. <laughs> 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 But I'm still a little fucking scared little bitch hiding myself away in a dark hole. Fuck. Foxwoods. j gets high and gets laid. j and I were in the back of my van a couple nights ago on the MIT campus, and I couldn't sleep. But I didn't really want to do anything else. This is a pretty common state of affairs for me. That's usually when I spend hours jerking off and browsing the web. But that wasn't an option with j there. <laughs> I think this was when I started to realize that Jerix wasn't going to be with me for much longer. I can't handle sharing a sleeping space with another guy for long, and I didn't want to keep paying seventy dollars a night for his motel rooms. <laughs> That's a normal thing you do with your buddy. Yeah, <clears throat> your friend who drove go- to Foxwoods Casino. <laughs> <laughs> a, friend, a friend, a friend who just goes in people's backyards to check out the fucking yeah, just to girls. check out like the the mid like junior to sophomore girls. Yeah, we drove to Foxwoods Casino mostly because like it was the only thing I could think of to do in the middle of the night that didn't involve if it, off. If it couldn't be bad enough, he's in a fucking white van. Of course he is. Yes, of course I just he saw is. That. Oh my fucking god. And the only thing that he could think of to do in the middle of the night was to drive to a casino because he couldn't jerk off, and that's the only other thing that he wanted to do. My man is just... (laughs) I'm amazed he's not from Baltimore. After our first night together in the Foxwoods parking lot, I blew a $540 on a hotel room for J-Rex for two nights so I could finally (laughs) jerk off in peace. Yeah. And then I bought him a plane ticket back to Arizona. I want to laugh harder, but... I'm in that state where it's like I'm smiling but I can't laugh because it's, it's too much <laughs> I'm like getting love constantly right now Jarex had a much more interesting time at Foxwoods than I did I spent my waking hours playing poker and jerking off in the parking lot <laughs> Jarex ended up getting laid he lost there it goes. $63 there goes. <laughs> he, he lost $663 of my money playing poker I gained uh, 20 milligrams of Adderall, and I don't think he slept for like 48 hours. He seemed to have some kind of weird little breakdown towards the end. Email exchanges between us. Uh, do you want j or do you want me to be Thomas? Which one Which one do you want me to do? Uh, I'll be j All right, you go. 66% I'll have a girl with me. If you want to come to the room, text first, M I O. Or ninety percent. Nice. M I O. M I O. Yeah. What? <laughs> Remember, he's high on Adderall. He's saying that he's got a sixty-six percent shot of <laughs> fucking this girl if he wants to have a threesome. Or ninety percent. Nice. Oh, OMG! Haha! <laughs> Security is hanging out outside our room. I hope they go soon. They were shadowing me. This is hilarious. Or I had sex with Penelope, and I'm out with her again. Well, she just left on a new target. I was just trying to find weird intellectuals. None so far. I was sort of competing with some criminal dude. He stole a girl from me. Sorry if telling you this shit is annoying. Well, not sorry, but I'll stop if you request. <laughs> so far, no correlation in dyed air and intelligence. Shit, if anything, inverse correlation. Uh, no, I like your stories. Mwah, sigh. Jerking off alone in the pedo van fantasizing about being cool. 
Just entertained a group of girls with Jizz Hole story. About to go back to dancing. I feel I leveled up a ton. I leveled up! Level up! Wait, what? <laughs> Jerex. Uh, if it wasn't already obvious that they were into the pickup culture. Jerex, I am gay. <laughs> I shit on these alphas. Or, well, criminals shit on me. Mwah. I fantasize about stabbing people until like someone sees the bodies and says, hope they breed or something, with no emotion. He is my friend. They will arrest me, but I'll remember his face. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go down this rabbit hole. Let's go, baby. It's time for time to get in the mind of time to get oh, in the. Tom is like the red hair in this story. Is J Rex the? I don't real know. Fucking my my boy has written a gigantic manifesto here. So, Lundy, you have fun. I'm gonna sit back and. I'm lonely as fuck, but I'm too used to you to fulfill whatever fucking need I have right now. I need someone to lift this Jaden fucking fog over me by demonstrating a well thought out hatred for the world. I got done fucking Penelope and made out with three, well, macked on two, but felt up Jeanette, other girls, and almost brought a third, Jeanette. And then I started, then I started, I guess, passing out, uh, seriously fucking passing out. I whispered to Jeanette randomly, if you were an alien, what would you find weirdest about humans? <laughs> I don't know why I did. <laughs> I was in the zone okay. up until then. <laughs> But let's seriously, let's talk about this. Like, if you were an alien, what would you find the weirdest thing about <laughs> You're validating this man, Matt. You're validating this son of a bitch. I'm not validating the rapes and potential murders. I just say he brings up a good question. <laughs> what would you think is the weirdest things about humans if you were an alien? Lundy, go. <laughs> probably the way that we fuck. <laughs> After all, uh, I'm pretty sure aliens probably wouldn't have the same method of fucking that we would in any way whatsoever. Feet. You think it would just be the existence of feet? <laughs> yeah. I think feet would be up there. To be a lot of, uh, to be fair, we'd be very weird to, to aliens. Anyway, I don't know why I asked this question. I was in the zone up until then. I was still in the zone when I asked, actually. She said, there are no such thing as aliens. I fucking randomly lost it and told her... <laughs> I fucking randomly t- lost it and told her I'd BRB and asked a bunch of people at the bar random weird questions. They were all fucking dumbasses, all of them. I went back to Am Jeanette... I, and... I guess you are. <laughs> I went back to Jeanette and pulled her, in her, weird... <laughs> pulled her in close for shitty friends giggled that this guy is all being awesome. I licked her cheek and, bit- and gently bit her ear and said, I hate you. And left without turning I'm back. Sure. I am J Rex. Which of us is the doctor? Which of us is the mister? Like, is it Dr. J Rex and Mr. Napalm? Or is it or is it just Mr. J Rex and Mr. Napalm? <laughs> it's just Mr. Both. I'm fucking weird. <laughs> Fuck unbearable. It dawned, on me. It, it dawned on me that I can that I can't fucking stand any of these people. I left and randomly asked people if they were cynical intellectuals. No one fucking understood the question. <laughs> are casinos full of fucking retards? Is this the world here or are irrelevant or whatever? <laughs> My best hope was the poker room, but I just got kicked out for harassing tables with the question. <laughs> it was it was going on. Just asking literally everybody in the fucking casino, if you were an alien, what would you find weirdest about humans? Imagine a hundred at tops of like this is the lost <laughs> chapter of like, <laughs> Show yourself a bitch. <laughs> what do you think is the world is better if you were an alien? <laughs> <laughs> fucking fuck, I could you fucking face. <laughs> fucking how are they all so fucking retarded? Do you, do you really fucking see me as them sometimes? What the fuck, how? I am nothing like them. Fuck you fucking need me for intellectual dominance and established method of making smart people look stupid. Security shadowed me back at the bar. Sorry, real quickly, go. Notice Craig hasn't fucking came to many things since I told him to know. <laughs> Security shadowed me back at the bar. I used them to generate status. This thought belongs somewhere else. God, I, I love you. This. I wish, like, like, I wish this fucker was in, like, a, the, like a shitty Stephen King or Twilight Zone episode or something. Like, <laughs> like he just walks through a door and he's in, like, 1960s Las Vegas. Because you know 
Those fucking mobsters would not tolerate this Adderall up fucking piece of shit bothering their good customers. He'd be in the back getting his fucking thumbs broken if he's fucking <laughs> lucky. Hold up, we've got some, we've got some sexual tension. I love you, Thomas. You fucking think you give me a hamster wheel to spin on, spin in instead of the usual open plane where I piss on everyone's shit. I'm a retard to you. I have something to work for, I guess. You are impenetrable. Or maybe just used to me. Why the fuck am I praising you? You fucking bully me because I'm a fucking test dummy in the back of an org- in the back of Orgrimmar with infinite HP. <laughs> just bringing up wow shit all of a sudden. I haven't slept yet. Not tired at all. Why did we fucking leave MIT? So fucking stupid. I could be making lots of friends. Neither of us really gives a shit about money. You barely care. You just largely pretend just because it's your it, it fits your flamboyant I'm a fucking cunt persona. Well, fuck, I know why. I want to win your approval through poker, but I fucking fail. I wanted to meet and fuck random people. I apparently fucking can't stand, which I did. Jeanette texted me now and called me an asshole. She's a cunt. I'm ignoring her. Not giving a witty response. I never do this. I always respond. Fuck that, maggot. Fuck, Thomas! I know what I want. I want to re-meet you. I want a year of love with the most interesting mind I've ever met. Impossible. I suspect virtually all the people you praise as intelligent now would be nigh intolerable to you if you spent over a year with them because you'd see them as retarded. Fuck! Back home, too. Forgot about that shit. I guess it's a small relief. Back to my comfort zone. Solitude when I want. Plethora of sex and riding my bike. But it's gay compared to you. My mind is resolved quickly. (laughs) I'm sorry. It's gay compared to you. (laughs) That's just once the fuck, Thomas. (laughs) There's one thing I've gotten out of this. He really wants to fuck Thomas. (laughs) J-Rex is like extremely confused. You're such a goddamn cunt. You could have had so much fun if you just followed my lead a bit more. Fucking criminal. Stole the girl and she didn't look back. By the way, security strictly said they will kick me out if I come into contact with criminal again. I'll tell you more about that later. Fucking girls dress up all nice, ready to hand out shit tests to males. I fucking cheat and make the guys around me look like fucking turds. Oh, I, I could dress up nice. <laughs> oh my fucking girl I'd be your girl Thomas if I could <laughs> I had some alcohol a small amount I hate it I keep self loathing at bay as a drink and his mind was like today's the day today's the day I wouldn't tell Thomas how I really feel and every <laughs> time he fucking cowers out and then he just goes home and he's like stupid I'm so stupid <laughs> <laughs> why can I just tell him what I feel without Backing it up with a whole bunch of other dumb shit. I'm so fucking retarded compared to Thomas. I'm fucking retarded. He turns into <laughs> screaming into a mirror like dummies don't deserve love. He turns into <laughs> Philip Seymour Hoffman from Boogie Nights. He's like, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. Just bashing his head on the car. I didn't buy any drinks. I fucking drank from the other girls' oh, yeah, drinks. I think Thomas was the fucking red heron in this story. I think Jayrix is the fucking serial killer now. This is so fucking obvious. Why don't Why don't other guys do it? My penis is super flaccid. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe I blew my load, and it took a while for it to kick in. That my that my love people strategy temporarily means shit. Since I just passed my seed, giving my mind a minor reprieve from delusions. Funny. Would it be funny if I thought about you as I was fucking a girl and asked him? <laughs> <laughs> it would be so fucking weird. It would be oh, weird, right? That's just so stupid. He's fucking like, he's, he's like curled up in the corner of his fucking hotel room at Thomas's bottom and he's just like, I just, I don't understand why I can't just stop loving you. <laughs> For the love of God, please read the next couple sentences. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I'm in the area, some guy is taking me out camping next week. We traded phone numbers, <laughs> him and his wife. Keep going. He's, he says I'm like a clone of their daughter, but male. Ha. We'll see. <laughs> Hit me Fuck. up. Here we go. 
my testicles will become filled with my DNA and once again put the carrot back in the fucking treadmill. Uh, uh, <laughs> I estimate I estimate 12% chance I commit suicide tonight. I have a knife in my bag. Woo! King shit. This is what kings do, baby. You fucking ended up hating everyone eventually. Don't let Antonia's pussy and rosy thoughts convince you otherwise. He's just standing out in a clearing in the middle of the woods, <laughs> screaming at the moon, knife to his fucking throat, like just kill me, you fucking coward. <laughs> <laughs> You're never gonna be now. What is the purpose of life? You know what? You know what's my Not favorite? Not even two people. The fucking people who we went on the camping trip were, or like just arguing like, I thought you said we were going to have a three-way. It's like, I thought we were, but like, but... My... <laughs> My favorite part of this so far is the fact that Thomas has not answered him at all during the, this is all just would you yeah these are multiple messages <laughs> no but the funnier the funnier realization is this is all probably while Thomas was sleeping which explains why we'll, we'll get to his response hypothetically like say Lundy sent me a bunch of this shit I would <laughs> even if I was awake I wouldn't reply because I'd be like I want to see how deep this rabbit hole yeah. <laughs> to be entirely fair, Matt, you never respond to anything I say anyway. <laughs> you fucking end up hating everyone eventually. Don't let Antonia's pussy and rosy thoughts convince you otherwise. Maybe that's what I am. A person you to take your misanthropy out on because I'm fucking invincible. <laughs> Fuck, I said that shit. Whatever. Yelling randomly, fuck you all down the hallway. They think I just failed at something. Like losing a bunch of money. I succeeded. I didn't fail. And then finally Thomas responds with, Jarek, stop being a cunt. I am sleepy and don't want to deal with this. Make sure you're at my car at 11 a.m., homo. I think I'm finally falling asleep. No, you're Yay. not, liar. You're you're sending him messages, you fucking idiot. Please wait for them to kick me out. I don't even care if I miss my flight. Not suggesting I will, but just in case. Since this I can wait like at the airport for the next one. Hipster version of Fear and Loathe in Las Vegas. Also, I wasn't being a cunt. Jerix was having a pretty good time hanging out with me, I think. I'm a pretty... I'm a pretty... I'm a pretty boring guy, but Jerix is an expert at creating his own fun. All he needs is an audience. Oh, that's silly Jerix. He's just out there having some fun. He was pissed well, out. I just murdered another male prostitute. He's like, not again! He was pissed that I was sending him home. <laughs> Thomas, I loved him. He, he was pissed. He snapped Filipino boys. What did he snap the necks of Filipino boys like they were chickens? He was, he was pissed that I was sending him home, and I guess the amphetamine put him in a mind to rebel against my decision. I called him at 11 a.m. hotel checkout time so I could start driving him to the airport, but he didn't pick up. I had to walk to his room to collect him. Probably feels. Oh yeah, there's also save for last, please. Which is this fucking Matt? Are you looking? He walks in the room and it's like that scene again. I'm keep, I keep bringing up Fair and Loving in Las Vegas, but there's no he, better fucking comparison. I think I'm just picturing it's fucking when when Hunter S. Thompson wakes up in the fucking hotel room that, that Doctor Gonzo had. Oh, just come my on, fucking, fucking god! Really. Look at uh, just just. Ah, uh, the next lines. Yeah, look at that. Look at that image, real quick, Matt. That's what uh, Thomas was greeted to in the hotel. Uh, he probably feels bad that he didn't get me laid, but it's my fault. He's taught me so much about women; it doesn't help me. I'm too broken. Sorry, Jerix. I wish my van had two bedrooms. I wish Jerix had a vagina. All right, you ready to hear about pretending to be gay and stacking off with a drunk? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you, you you go ahead. Also, while you're doing this, I'll go ahead and post the picture of Jerix during his time here at this fucking, this hellhole that's <laughs> fucking. <laughs> it really does look like fucking Dr. Gonzo and Ernest Thompson when they're on the ether at the fucking awful circus casino. Look at all them jeans. Look at all Oh my god, jeans. I just realized it's still fucking, go it goes so much farther after I look down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead and keep going, man. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna have to go get something to drink to listen to this. 
And they gave JRX his first Adderall when we started playing poker together, and he seemed to get really obsessed with the game. Even after I announced that he had lost too much and I wasn't going to give him any more money, he stayed awake all night reading about the game. And he sat behind me in the casino watching me play and talking to me about the game. On our last day together, j Rick started acting pretty touchy as he sat, me, sat with me at this poker table. He tied my scarf around my head and sat to my left with his arm on my chair, hand pressing against my shoulder as if, my arm, as if his arm was around me. He was being his normal chatty self. Uh-huh. Fill his breath on the nape of my neck. He was being his normal chatty self, and at one point, the dealer asked J. Rick some random forgettable question, and J. Rick randomly and inappropriately announces, I'm gay, without a hint of sarcasm. <laughs> what? The dealer responds. J. Rick doesn't say anything, and the table experiences. Again. <laughs> the table experiences a minute of uncomfortable silence. I said, pretending to be gay, the new frontier in culture jamming. If some meathead calls you a fag, don't deny it. Call him a stupid bigot with righteous fury. I awesome. really hope like, the next line is like, then j Rex just breaks down crying. <laughs> More silence. <laughs> j Rex has had oral sex with a guy, though. <laughs> <laughs> pretending to be gay or pretending to be pretending to be gay whatever (laughs) after j rix leaves this one nigger at the table gets super drunk and he raises to 50 dollar pre-flop five times in a row one of those five times someone else re-raises 200 dollars with kk and the nigger calls with uh, like qto or something the action slows to a crawl as this black guy is so drunk he can barely stack his chips. I limp with 88. Really inconsistent in his use of racial slurs. But you've already called three fucking times. Well, no, he's going to get back into it. He's going he's to get back into it. He's going to get back into it. There are three other limpers behind me, and the drunk nigger raises the sixth time to sit to $50 with about $300 behind. I look down at my chips trying to figure out how much to raise. The nigger sees my hesitation and starts talking shit. Oh, you want to play, huh? You want to play with me, huh? I shove about $500. Everyone folds to the nigger. I stare down at the felt, rhythm, at the felt, rhythmically nodding my head back and forth and letting my face hang slack. I do this to prevent my opponent from seeing how fast my heart is beating. There's a moment of silence and the nigger says, you let another, you let another guy tie a scarf around your head, huh? <laughs> Focusing on the important things. Yeah, he's got a point. That was a fucking beta move. <laughs> His voice is suddenly calm. I continue my slow motion headbang. Eyes focused on the single spot to, on the felt. He's some kind of faggot, right? Huh? You're like, man, don't you? Clock it, I say. What? Says the nigger. But I'm not talking to him. The dealer calls for the floor, and they give the nigger 60 seconds to make up his mind. He eventually calls with K6s. I'm a 67% favorite, but I end up losing. I actually felt pretty good about it, though. (laughs) I was suddenly the tragic hero of the table. The nigger goes around the table, giving everyone high fives. There are like three, four people hovering around him, and I'm afraid they're about to kick him out or something. That sounds like the tragic hero of the the story. It's like, yeah, the person who beat me, everybody high-fived him. (laughs) (laughs) The nigger starts talking about leaving, too, so I guess I would start talking to him. One of those episodes. (laughs) trying to encourage him to stay and the nigger suddenly looks at right at me and says you look asshole don't you (laughs) i like this this motherfucker i love this guy (laughs) without really thinking about it like like just dolomite or fucking like just any black exploitation character take it <laughs> without really thinking about it i suck on my lips and look down at the felt as if too embarrassed to answer and he gets all excited and starts calling me gay over and over blah blah why did i think this story was interesting fuck my life <laughs> <laughs> He probably started trying this and being like, man, I, I'll show this guy. And it's just racial slur, racial slur. And then the slow realization of like. <laughs> I lost won. utterly in this like, entire fucking thing. I am the loser in this situation <laughs> in every possible way. Over realization from Thomas. 
<laughs> uh, we, that blind dude was pretty fucking awesome. I, I'll say that. He says his lines in this story were pretty awesome. I mean, I I, I went to grab something to drink and eat, but the minute I heard you some kind of faggot, you look <laughs> asshole, don't you? <laughs> like what a fucking what a fucking Chad. <laughs> oh my god i hope i hope that man is alive and alive well alive and well god bless him <laughs> he's just like a... mit <laughs> is beautiful <laughs> that was that was a young that was a young cory booker ladies and gentlemen <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mit is beautiful yeah, I I was President Barack Obama. <laughs> 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 no, 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 I gotta think of that reading. Those fucking lines is Obama now. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Do me your favorite is Obama. Let's see how it goes. Oh, uh, you wanna play, huh? You wanna play with me, huh? All right. You wanna know the guy tie a scarf around your head, huh? Some kind of faggot, right? Hmm? You're like, man, don't you? <laughs> uh, you a asshole, don't you? <laughs> uh, let me let me retort. Uh, miss me with that gay shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I stand here before you today. Call you for <laughs> <laughs> to inform you that uh, you are a faggot. And I see the protest on your face, and I would like to ask you a follow-up question to this to demonstrate my point, which is, you like to lick asshole, don't you? Honestly, depending on the year that this was actually uploaded, um, what a brave, brave universal prediction for the uh, eventual Obama-McCain debates. <laughs> After I drop J Ricks off at the airport, I drive to MIT and get there maybe four thirty PM on Saturday. It's beautiful and I wasn't even high. You're beautiful, I want to say to every geek I pass, girl or guy. Most of them already know they're beautiful. And I see the people who are out jogging or biking or doing activities, the physically beautifully aggressive ones. But then I see the hobbits and the gnomes, and they are beautiful too. You can see the lights so well in their faces. Damn, you know, around. you know, he almost sounds like an upstanding guy who, like, really cares about the downtrodden and the bullied. It's a shame that, like, I got absolutely decimated by three paragraphs of the drunk nigger. <laughs> like, a little bit above that. <clears throat> so I'm walking around, there are all these sailboats in the river, and the wind is blowing strong and steady and cold, but it feels so good, and I walk to the bridge and stand in the middle, of the, in the middle and look into the water and city and smog and its euphoria. Euphoria without sex and without amphetamine. Been so long since I've experienced it. The waves, they fill my vision, and it's liquid peace injected straight into my brain. And I laugh, and the tears fill my eyes. It all seems so simple. Nature's program paths to happiness in my brain, and so many simple things. Waves, wind, water, groups of geniuses around me, the city looming high and mighty in the distance. Those bikers and joggers, sailboats. Just fucking tearing around randomly. All experiencing the same thing as me. Evolve bliss at just being close to the water and feeling your body moving and seeing crowds of peers do the same. Mopeds. Bike lanes everywhere. Shit that just doesn't come through a brochure. It doesn't come through at all. Because people don't understand themselves well enough to know what they really want and until it's right there staring at them in the fucking face. And I suddenly know that I am home. This is where I'm going to live. Cambridge. I'm going to get a bike and ride it around in the sun and watch the pretty geniuses jog. Sit in the student center and get high and write and program while, until I make something worthy of their attention. I belong here. I live here. And then it was at night. I couldn't remember why I thought this was a good idea. So many beautiful geniuses passing me in the student center, but I said nothing. Paralyzed. I can't meet people in real life. I am broken. I start driving to Nevada so I can fuck prostitutes. <laughs> And almost as soon as I start driving, I want to go back. I can introduce myself to those girls, I thought. Why didn't I introduce myself to them? Right. He is going to MIT. Yes. 
and he is driving to Vegas on the weekends to fuck prostitutes. Yep. Do you know how far fucking Boston, or not Boston, Massachusetts is from fucking Nevada? <laughs> I don't think he's saying that he does this on the weekends regularly or anything along those lines. It's just this was his plan. He doesn't belong here, so he's just going to go to Nevada so he can just fuck prostitutes forever. I'm pretty sure that was his point, man. <laughs> That's still a fucking dumbass point, but regardless. To be fair, he's high right now. That's true. Yeah. Um, are we ready for a blast from the past where something that is not in any way important at all was like a main part yeah. of people's fucking identity? Yeah, hey, Adam, you want to unmute and like get ready for a little bit of this? Because uh, this might be your wheelhouse. Oh, what what a pussy. All right, go ahead. Nobody knows I'm an atheist. <clears throat> Rosencrantz crying out for peers, but it's so very fleeting. The broadcast vulnerability find friends reflex going quiet once an acceptable boyfriend is found. So I have an eye paired off because the girls know I'm a scam because they know we don't fit in. That's my gimmick. No one fits me. Nature's mind games to want my soulmate so bad, but what I want is impossible. Just a trick to get me to fuck, 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 fuck. But I'm not fucking anymore, am I? I'm broken. Pair off? No. No. I just want a fucking friend. Can be a guy. Fuck. I just fucking want someone I can talk to. You stupid shits are so fucking blind. I miss Antonia. Yeah, she never gave a shit about all the random right. shit I love to talk about. Hmm? It's just crying in a shower. I love a picture of Thomas sniffing some hair. Just like stupid. I think I knew it then too, but it didn't matter. Fuck. No one is listening. No one wants to piece together the human animal. So lonely. Sex, 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 sex. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, this guy's brain is actually broken. I love the, I love that there's fucking comments on the blog that were actually archived too. Wait, 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 read the next part. I think his brain just started to like hemorrhage into everything else. Well, it says, it says clutter. And then it says, nigger calling me gay, stack off with 88 with double eights versus case versus king sixes, 350 deep. I gave him two Adderall, and I don't think he slept for like 30 straight hours, and now I'm typing this just because I want people to think that I am smart. I am typing so much shit because I am so smart. We so smart. Okay, am I going to move this to my clutter section? <laughs> they are speaking Spanish or something. Oh, fuck my life. I'm typing this now, too. Please make me seem smart. Hello, will you be my friend? Fuck, 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 fuck. You want to go one-on-one? -on -one? At first, I think he's asking me to have sex with him. It takes me about a second to realize that he's asking me to stack off with him again. Yeah, I say. <laughs> what the fuck? <coughs> you want to read one of the comments? So how'd you get around your OK Cupid ban? I've been trying. I've been. I've been changing IP addresses. Tried registering again, but just says, "Oops, that wasn't supposed to happen." Uh, tried some free proxy server websites. That didn't work. Did it work having Jerex create a new account from his IP and then logging in from your IP? I've got years of emails that I've been pretty annoyed at losing as well. I don't know how the i the OK Cupid ban works. I think they might be doing it something pretty fancy. I believe that whenever you try to get. <coughs> Uh, hang on, sorry, I lost my place here. I believe that whenever you try to log into a banned account, OkCupid okay, gives you a cookie, which makes it impossible to log into any account from the browser from that point forward. Clearing your cookie should probably be a central component of whatever you're trying to do. In order to circumvent my ban, I just changed IPs and cleared my cookies. This method seems to work for Firefox, but not Safari? I don't know. I wanted to thank you. A uh, combination of clearing Firefox cookies and then creating a new account with my updated IP address seems to have worked. Uh, I'm guessing our old accounts are long gone, uh, but this is a vast improvement over the phony technical issues login. Thanks again. Best of luck in your adventures. <laughs> oh, hey, I just realized this was on 2011, so this is nine years ago. Evidently, he enjoyed using the uh, picture of the white knight at the computer with the maidens that I've say, that rescued on the internet and rescued maidens that rewarded me with sex meme. Yeah. This poor little racist incel pedophile. Yeah, exactly. Jesus Christ. Um, so, do you want to hear about him stalking an Oriental? In his words, or absolutely. All right, let's let's go. Matt, you ready? 
the one I've been waiting for. Journal number 1990329. Thomas stalks an Oriental and goes to the beach. Week 977. I stalked someone today. When I got home from school, there was an Oriental girl walking on the sidewalk. I got out of the car, went inside, got on my bike, and followed her the whole way. I was trying to think of something to say to her, but eventually. Everything I thought of sounded dumb or stalkerish, which is, of course, the truth. P, tongue, face, dumb, retard emoji thing that people do in text. So I just kept back and watched her from far behind. She lived in a big blue house a block away. <laughs> Silly me. I went on a road trip this weekend. Leslie and her friend Matt called me spur of the moment on Friday. Today is Monday. Asking if they could stop by here on their way to Jacksonville Beach. I, of course, said sure. They ended up inviting me to go with them. I went. Then there's the girl I know. She thinks she's ugly. She says she looks in the mirror and sees an ugly person. And it's insane. She is so beautiful, and yet she looks in the mirror and sees an ugly person. This girl comes over every once in a while. 9-11-2000. When Leslie and Matt got to the house, it was kind of late. We talked for a bit, situated Matt to spot upstairs, and he went up to sleep. Leslie came in my room and laid down on my bed. I got in with her, got on top of her, started hugging her. I'm debating whether to kiss you or not, she says. She currently had a boyfriend. We eventually started kissing. I pulled off her shirt, pulled up her bra, la la, but didn't get her to have sex with me. I need to work on my technique. She didn't let me touch her during the road trip. Said, no, it was a mistake to kiss you. I have a boyfriend. Hmm, girls. Leslie is married. <laughs> Fucking girls and their dumb shit. Leslie is married now to some bisexual and pregnant too, unless she's already had the kid. <laughs> By the way, she was the girl I lost my virginity to. You want to see the picture uh, that's at the bottom of this? Yes. I think this is him with the uh, one of the earlier girls mentioned. Why does it keep asking if it's a spoiler? Stupid. The, the pictures have like the little brackets on them when you post them. Uh, let me check. Hang on. No. That's weird. Anyway, uh, where are you going to next, Blondie? Um. Well, we have found out how he grooms people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Journal 20100121. Louisilla intro. A wicked girl from OKCupid. Who me he? She responds. Your profile tells me that we might mesh better than most, but that you are probably too antagonistic for my delicate sensibilities. If you're bored while I'm bored, try my AIM. Louisilla. Louise. P.S. I like that you like the cruise. So, of course, I immediately start talking to her. Would you like to be Louis, Louisilla or Tommy? This is the second link that I sent you. You're talking to me? All yes. right. Let me go ahead and go up there. <clears throat> um, I'll be uh, Luis, I guess. Okay. I'll do a dumb girl voice. <clears throat> Let me get there first. Uh, all right. I'm ready. Estimate the percent chance that God exists. Your I am conversation with Luis will be saved by a mystery from now on. Learn more at XAM Gmail. I suck at numbers. Crazy wizard shit, that is. Do it, faggot. Shit. I would have responded earlier, but an email I was sending required me to do maths. I will give God a 5% chance. I am at all events generous. Cool. Can you leave me your blog, MySpace, Facebook, Pictures page, webpage? Fuck that shit. Pretty, please. Frowny face. Okay, hang on. Mwah. Links to a Flickr photos album. Do you think homosexuality is an evolved adaptation? Sure, why not? You're cute. War? Do you have a boyfriend? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> sorry. War? Thanks. Sorry about that. Do you have a boyfriend? I can't even remember the last time I had a boyfriend. 
When was the last time you had sex? Oh, December 30th. He's seeing his ex now. Want to hang out? Maybe. Sure. I could hang. Now? What? Movie? Have you seen me on Flux, the old MTV cartoon? I have class at 2, and I'm sure there are things I need to do in order to prepare for class. Yes. 2 a.m.? P.m. But I read Cineform, which eats time up like a mofo. Estimate the percent chance that you will hang out with me tonight. I've done more than enough maths tonight. You are refusing to answer my question. Why do you hate honesty and transparency and love so much? Because it is difficult to be fully honest and transparent when you do not know yourself. Just give honesty and honest effort. Go, go, go. You can do it. You could. <laughs> In respect to what? Estimate the percent that you hang out with me tonight. Okay, let us walk through the events. I've had a shit fuck day. Fucking March for Life fucking fuckwit retard parade. <laughs> I have readings of Akkadian texts, Latin paleography, and Greek prose composition tomorrow. I have to pick up my cat from the airport tomorrow. So I don't know. I don't even know what's happening 10 minutes from now. More or less than 30%. Because I am a bit drunk. Ah, that's why you're so easy. Dang. I guess I better push hard for tonight before you sober up. I am so easy because I am easily persuaded by humans. My roommate. I want to join him for a Siggy. Okay. Fry face. Be back in 1020. Okay. Lights off to save power. Okay. Okay. Sup? Are you too drunk to drive? No drive. Can I come over? Why? So you can bed me? That would be the preferred results, but just hanging out with you will be an improvement on my present situation. But I haven't even decided whether or not you're attractive yet. This will help you decide, but don't get your hopes up. I see. Unattractive. I see. Unattractive motherfucker. Sigh. Sadness. No, just rhetorical responses. I guess. Uh, so that you know I'm still here. Going for minimal responses in hopes of not distracting you, in hopes that you actually answer my question and say I can come over. Go, go, go. Ground rules. Woot. How long would it take for you to get over here? I don't know, 30 minutes? Give me your address. Give me a DC, me a DC address. All right. I tend to get lost as fucking DC, so potentially add another hour to that. I find myself unconvinced. Sweet, how drunk are you? I've decided to switch to water. Google Maps says 24 minutes. Give me your phone number. Why, so I can feel bad about being unable to direct you when you call? Mm, so I can get there but can't see the street addresses because I'm too da da because it's too dark. I can be like, are you the yellow house on the right? And also many more potential scenarios. Also, I guess it makes it more likely that you're not just fucking with me. Are you sure you wouldn't rather wait for a more propitious occasion? Yes. Hot Asian drunk girl letting me come over? How can I get more how can it get more propitious than that? Am I sure I wouldn't rather wait for a more propitious occasion? Don't think about it too hard, sweetie pie. Number, please. You have yet to convince me that I like you. <sighs> what kind of guys do you like? Large. Like big dicks? Of course. Dang. But muscles as well. Well, crap. You fail so soon. How about slouching skinny guys with bad teeth who never leave their apartment? Been there, done that. They have their charm, though, yes? You forgot, hmm? Hmm? I prefer big dicks with some heft. But I'm smart. I'm pretty tough at World of Warcraft. Flex. What'd you score on your SAT? I don't give a shit about numbers. But I do. I read dead languages, and I read them well. I am afraid you have done little to convince me to give you the opportunity of that to bed me. Um, my dick is super duper big. You lie. Yeah. Pity. I don't know. Want a back rub? <laughs> My mommy says I give good back rubs. I want. <laughs> I'm sorry. These guys just pack it up, dude. <laughs> I want a foot massage. Okay, I'm down. This is coming from the guy who's fucking. His goddamn fucking pickup line was like, look, bitch, you either going home with nothing. 
Oh, buddy, you're going home with me. One of the two. <laughs> Them's the options right now. Can you even do those? Sure. I remain unconvinced. Uh, Tommy then copy paste a small a small uh, uh, conversation that he has. How good are my foot massages? Incendiary wit eleven says I give you a four out of ten. And Thomas says, "Damn, I thought I was better than that." That's pretty shit. Yeah. I don't know. I can bring over Aeon Flux. Seen it. I have the Chocolate War and Heights from Netflix. Don't know. Don't care. Or we could watch Netflix movies online with my account. Romeo and Juliet, the MTV production, maybe? Blurg. I could help you with your homework. How are you at cuneiform? Mm, just kidding. Uh, I could drive us to my apartment and we could play ping pong. I have shit to do in the morning and class to do after that. We could cuddle and let loose the dark, desperate poetry in our souls. That sounds terribly pathetic. Ah, this is hard. I don't know. Any tips? Sorry, I gave you all the tips, and they're all sort of accidents of nature. Let me come over, please. Give me three good reasons. How many have I given you so far? Save your personality, which I read on the dang website. Zero. You might end up liking me for hard-to-quantify reasons, and we might become good friends slash lovers? That was a joke. That's what the emoticon means, right? It was serious. I don't think the emoticon means anything, or if it does, it's too subtle for me. Just an ancient habit. It might be more entertaining than whatever you're doing right now. I am engaging in a flirtation with a married colleague. Uh, seize the day. Is that three yet? If there was three, I am unaware of what the first two are. Sigh. You given up then? No, I'm willing to let. I'm willing it to happen. Perhaps you uh, work on your charms. You have charms. I don't know. All right then. I have two speaking. <laughs> I have. <laughs> this is the most autistic fucking conversation. <laughs> I have two speaking engagements next week with folk. Funnily enough, do not entertain me as much as you do. I'm having trouble untangling that. Was that actually a compliment? I'm afraid you stumble over your words because you're drunk. I have been told I have a habit of torturous circumlocutions. So can I come over? If you come over, you wouldn't arrive until after midnight. I have s I'll have sobered up by then. That's fine. Please? I don't think so. We haven't engendered anything even close to a level of intimacy that would let me be okay with whatever your intentions were with respect to coming over here. Okay. Let's try this weekend. Okay. My cat will be here. How do you feel about cats? I like cats a lot. Is that irony? My mom says that when I was a kid, I spent a whole week communicating only through meows and that I almost choked to death eating cat food. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> um, <laughs> last time I had a house cat, I think I spent several hours a day petting it. <laughs> I just saw the end of this. <laughs> uh, interesting. <laughs> Can I have more pictures of you? I'm afraid they're not going to be body shots. That's cool. <laughs> what do you want? My webcam isn't even working right now. How about a picture of you looking into the camera saying, what, but I'm only 13? I don't have any of those in my library. Dang. Will you let me listen to you masturbate? No. <laughs> I kind of thought she was a half nigger when I first started looking at her pictures. Weird. <sighs> <laughs> I keep having this weird, vague dream pattern about her, that I'm playing music and the speakers are really loud and the vibrations in the floor turn her on. So she takes off her clothes and sits down, uh, and I'm producing sounds that excite her and doing signal processing on them, a, a additive synthesis. Jerking off while thinking about her over and over, I, <laughs> I can't really get into it. Uh, my dick is shaped as hell. And my orgasms and emissions are tiny and forced, like I can't really see her. Like her face and expressions aren't real. She's talking in a language I don't understand. 
I guess maybe I should have just cut ch- cut the chatter and started driving as soon as she gave me the address. Maybe I would have gotten fucked. I got a new iMac today. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. This is schizophrenic. <laughs> <laughs> So do you want to hear about uh, a memory of his? Um, What's wrong? Sure. I was going to get out of soft pretzel. I was going to say, for me, I've got three more. I've got this one and then the two updates, like the two most recent things. Oh, by the way, Luis? Yeah? She's the one who unconsciously wants to be raped more than any other girl he's ever met. Is that the one we just talked about? Yes. Based. (laughs) All right. Let's go to journal entry 19990627. Memory. Pseudo makeout. The bed collapses. I was laying in my bed, my bed only in the sense that I'm in my room, my room only in the sense that I'm sleeping here while my sister is in Brazil, reading, when the bed collapsed. Some silly family member of mine put the frame together wrong, so it happens a lot. It reminds me of the other time I was in a bed and it collapsed. My sister used to have this friend named Amanda, incredibly hot. Or maybe she just emitted some chemical that made my heart go really fast whenever she was around. She came over and spent the night sometimes. I think she had the hots for me, too. (laughs) I asked her two times if she'd come over and visit me when no one was at home, and she said maybe both times. Or maybe not, she didn't. Anyway, one time, after they had gone upstairs to go to sleep, I crept up the stairs and spied on them. Amanda was saying something to my sister, like, when boys try to kiss me or something more, I always tell them no, even when I want them to. It's all part of the game. Like, the other day at this party, some boys started touching my leg. But before I could even tell them to stop be chicken out, more error-headed babble. I went back downstairs and tried to fall asleep. I couldn't sleep. I was way, way incredibly aroused. For a while, I just laid in my bed while my horny brain tried to think of ways to get Amanda. <clears throat> After about 20 minutes, I went to the kitchen, and I saw my sister coming down the stairs. She couldn't... Hold on. Let me just make sure I'm reading. She couldn't sleep on the floor, so she was going to sleep in my mom's room. I waited for a while, and then crept back up the stairs again. Amanda was in my sister's bed in boxer shorts. Why do girls sleep in boxer shorts? And a loose shirt. No bra. Drool. I stared at her for a while until I realized that she saw me. I came into the room leaned down and whispered to her, Can I get in the bed with you? She said, Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Hey, by the way, real quick question. Um, Am I coming in clear or does it sound like when my computer, like my mic is off? No, you're fine. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Sorry, it wasn't as turned up for some reason. I got in the bed. I wrapped my arms around her. She was unresponsive. I think I tried to talk to her a bit, but she only mumbled back answers or didn't say anything. In fact, it looked like she was trying to sleep. Probably thought she was about to be raped. It looked like she was trying to sleep, but I knew she wasn't because she was breathing fast, and I felt her heart go really fast, too. I tried to kiss her, but she just laid there unresponsive. She didn't protest, but she didn't do anything either. That was a new thing, something weird. What was I supposed to do with this unresponsive yet uncomplaining female? The decision wasn't hard. My horniness made it for me. I was lying on top of her between I was lying on top of her between her legs, my arms wrapped around her warm, soft body, my face nuzzling against hers when the bed collapsed. Heh. <laughs> she was okay, there's no <laughs> she was still trying to act like she was sleeping. It was comical. I picked her up and laid her down on the map my sister had laid out for herself before she was downstairs and continued to pseudo make out with the mint. Sorry, I, sorry, I just need it. <sighs> I eventually slipped my hand up on her stomach and her chest until I was touching her left breast. Running my hand around and over the breast for a dozen seconds. She still lay there pretending like she was asleep. 
pulled my hand out from under his shirt. This was the move the future horny Thomases, remembering and fantasizing about this event, would mourn and regret. Perhaps if I had just kept at the breast, moving in a second hand, perhaps even a mouth, the territory would have been claimed, and I could have kept at it. In reality, when I tried to move my hand back to up to her breast, she stopped me. That would have been funny if it wasn't frustrating. She was still pretending to be asleep, yet her hands were blocking access to her chest. I would try to go up her shirt, and she would cross her arms around her stomach. I would try to take some other route, and she would block that. I guess at playing this particular game, I got disappointingly low score. Oh yeah, the next day, Amanda told my sister I snuck upstairs to spy on her, but that's all. Carly told mom... <laughs> Carly told mom, and mom got mad at me, said I should respect guest privacy, <laughs> if only she had known. I still, bog <laughs> I still boggle at the psychology of a girl who would allow me to come in her bed, she said yes, and then just lie unresponsive. Oh well, I can't decide if she belongs on the list of girls that I've kissed. If so, that list has 11 people. So, uh, what are the theories that any of that happened? Or if he's just like um, schizophrenic. I'm fairly certain he exaggerated a shit ton of this. Well, I'm just wondering how much of this is like actual molestation and how much of this is. Um, I think that it, it didn't even get anywhere, honestly. I feel like he probably like went up and like thought about going inside. Yeah, and then and then just didn't. <laughs> gotcha. He just like imagined most of the scenario. Do you have another one you want to do? What's that? That old school on the uh, cold devices. Um, there's a there's a few of them. I think it's cold. Devices. It's one of one of the cold devices. I think there was like a uh, a little skit about a brother who wanted to fuck his stepsister, and one and the, one of the things he did. Is he like leaned up against her door and jerked off in the hallway on her door? That's what he did. <laughs> the sister probably was like, oh, the dog must have sneezed on my door or something. So, uh, so Lundy, do you have anything else? Um, I mean, we could talk about Luis getting raped by three people, but I don't know. I think we've been going for a little while now. I mean, I've only got two more, and we'll be done with them, I think. Yeah, but these could be... Eh. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. If you promise we'll come back, uh, we can do this next time. Because I will say, to be fair, I just looked at my last two in Jesus fucking Christ. They're gigantic. <laughs> So part two. Yeah, we can do a part two uh, later, maybe next week. We can go over the rape. We can go over your last two. Yeah. We can go over his first time in a brothel. Oh, that'd be where great. Apparently he, which, where apparently he was called really ugly. Nice. Uh, and then we can go <clears throat> over his journal entry that literally just says the word rape. Nice. Well, that'll be fun. Everything but I never really tried